Okay, one more dirt problem um, here. So I found this online, I'm gonna use it. Um, Nick and Chloe left their campsite by canoe and paddled downstream at an average speed of 12 kilometers per hour. They turned around and paddled upstream at an average rate of four kilometers per hour. The total trip took one hour after how much time did the um, campers turn around downstream? So I hear rate, I hear time. I don't necessarily hear distance, but obviously there is a distance that they're traveling. So it's a dirt problem. So I'm gonna set up my table and see what I can input, okay? Let's see what I can input. Now my two situations, um, it sounds like I'm going upstream or downstream. Well, let me do downstream first because they talk about it first, but it doesn't matter. So one situation is downstream and one situation is upstream. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So um, my speed is kilometers per hour. So this time instead of miles per hour, like my last example, it's kilometers per hour. So the distance is measured in kilometers and the time is measured in hours. Um, all right, so downstream, let me color coordinate. Downstream, I have an average speed of 12 kilometers per hour. So my rate downstream is 12 kilometers per hour. I don't really know how long, uh, I don't know how long I did that for. So I don't know anything else. Let's go to the next one. Paddled upstream at an average rate. So I know the rate upstream is four kilometers per hour. The total trip took one hour. After how much time did the campers turn around downstream? So they left their campsite, campsite and paddled downstream. And then they turned around and paddled upstream. So it looks like the distance that they traveled downstream was the same as traveling up, right? They went, they paddled downstream, and they turned around and came back. So let's, uh, let's call my distance, I guess we can call it D. So D is the distance that they traveled, either down or up, okay? So we'll call it D. I don't know, but it's the same for both of them, but it's an unknown. I don't know how long it took them to do this. So we'll let T be the time. The total trip took one hour. So there are a couple ways you could do this. Um, you can say that the time that it took them to go downstream is T. But the time that it took them to go upstream is one minus T. Why? Because it took them a total of one hour. So if I know, so let's say, for example, if I know that this is 45 minutes that it took them to go downstream, then I could subtract 45 minutes from an hour to get what's left to go upstream because it took them a total of one hour. So this is an expression to represent my time per situation. Once I fill in, we'll call this equation one and equation two, across each one distance. So distance equals the rate 12 times time in my first equation, the second one distance is equal to the rate four times the time one minus T. And so you have now this is equation one and, and equation two, you have a system of equations which you can solve with whatever method you choose substitution elimination. And I determine my method based on how my system looks. So looking at this system, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do substitution because it's probably the faster method. Is it the only method? No. Is it the only one that works? No, but I'll show you why I choose substitution. Um, let me simplify. Equation one is not really going to be simplified, but equation two is going to be simplified if I distribute the four, four minus four T. And if you look at this, substitution is easy because of the fact that D is equal to this and D is equal to this, which means that I can go ahead and substitute each of these expressions for D. So 12 T is equal to four minus four T, and then I solve. I'm gonna add four T to both sides, and I get 16 T is equal to four. Divide both sides by 16, and I get T is equal to four over 16, which is one four, which is 0 0.25 hours. Now, what, I mean, remember that, you know, I randomly chose these variables. What did it represent? Um, 
<laughs> they represented the time, right? So the time that it took to go downstream was T. That's what I just found. So it took 0 0.25 hours, a quarter of an hour to go downstream. And you know, a quarter of an hour, I mean, it depends how they want it. You say a quarter of an hour, you can say 15 minutes, okay? Um, so that's one solution, part of my solution. And then how long did it take them to go upstream? Well, if it took a total hour to go upstream, what is one minus T? That's fine. One minus T, which was 0.25, is equal to 0.75. It took three quarters of an hour to go upstream. So let's go to three quarters of an hour, 0 0.75 of an hour to go upstream or 45 minutes, depending on how you want to represent. So did they ask us a specific question after how much time did the campers turn around downstream? So they went downstream and then they turned around um, in a quarter of an hour, they turned around. Yeah, but they can ask you either scenario, how long downstream, how long upstream, how long, ooh, you know. But again, I hear distance, I hear time, I hear rates, DRT, set up my lovely table and then um, plug in what you know and what you don't know. Either, you know, you have a relationship between the two or they're the same. Um, usually you want two variables because you want two equations. So try to keep it with two variables um, and then label them and define them on the side so you don't forget what they are. Otherwise, maybe you will. <laughs> it's easy once it's plugged in and once it's defined.